the 1991 edition of the Klingon Cruiser, tonight on What's in the Box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Slescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Well, tonight we're going to be looking at the 1991 edition of the Klingon Classic Battle Cruiser by AMT Ertl. Now this is another one of our Star Trek kits. It's all in the same scale of 1 650th. And this kit was actually one of the kits that was released during the filming of the TV series. And it's also been shown in a few of the original Star Trek episodes. So now let's go down to our table and open up the lid on this exciting model. And here it is, the original edition of the Klingon Cruiser, also known as the Klingon D7. Now this is another kit that I've got from my good Star Trek friend, Barry. Uh, it does have a little bit of a wrinkle in the lid, but what can you expect? This kit is from 1991. The original kit came out in the 60s, as I said in the intro there, with the TV show. But this kit, of course, is much later. And as you can see, the blo box <laughs> blocks is pretty plain and simple. It says, uh, highly detailed, over 14 inches long, assembled, display stand included, authentic full-color decals, and paint and cement not included. And now we're going to open up the lid on this. Uh, one thing I notice is there's a couple of parts missing out of this, which I think Barry has, but for some reason it wasn't in the kit. So I'll point out what those are. But here are our instructions. And I always like how they got the little upset-looking Klingon right in there, like, uh. <laughs> But anyway, this kit actually does have a lot of detail in it. So I'm just going to read this. In the travels of the USS Enterprise, throughout the galaxy, the Federation starship encounters encountered many alien life forms in Earth-like Class M planets. But the most history-making encounter, and the one that changed the course of events forever in starship exploration of the universe, was contact with the Klingon Empire. A fierce warlike race dominated by deeds of valor and personal honor, the Klingons formed a strong marauding civilization that had expanded its influence across light years of space. This vast empire eventually came in contact with Federation space, and the two great civilizations had finally met and clashed. On the leading edge of the Federation boundaries was the USS Enterprise, one of the first Federation ships to encounter a Klingon deep space vessel. It was quickly learned that the Klingon ship was not a benign exploration or cargo ship, but a well-equipped battleship, equal in technology to anything the Federation had in its inventory. Like the Enterprise, the Klingon vessel had both impulse engines for standard space maneuvers and warp drive for space warp speed. It, had, it has protective deflector shields to ward off attacks from phaser weapons and can withstand even photon torpedo hits. The Klingon ships were to be treated with great respect by anyone encountering them in the deep dark reaches at the edge of the Empire. An uneasy truce existed between the two great civilizations, with Klingons always testing the resolve of the Federation starships, and woe to any captain who unwittingly crossed into Klingon territory. Klingons love nothing better than a good battle. Reminiscent of the Mongol hordes that used to sweep across the cold and barren plains of old earth, raining death, pillage, and destruction to all who were in their path, the Klingons itch for further, to further their far-flung empire, and the Federation stands in their way. Enjoy your model of the original Klingon warship from the original TV series, just like the real thing, only smaller. Okay, that being said, this Klingon ship actually has... Oh, and here's the decals for it. <laughs> the Klingon model kit actually has the most parts out of all the Enterprise or Star Trek model kits. And as you can tell by these instructions, there is a lot of stuff in here. The uh, primary hull is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. The parts I'm missing from Barry are those and the little dots on the top. 
Uh, but anyway, then you've got your neck and everything. So as you can see, there are a ton of parts to put this thing together with. And then on the other side, there's your final subassembly. A little picture of the Klingon ship zapping and blowing up a Federation uh, Constitution class ship. And of course your paints, how to paint the thing down below. And now let's actually look at the components. So there's the, the hull, top and bottom. Then you've got the warp engines. And now this is molded in a duck egg blue, which is really nice. Ooh. Ah, locked together. And there you go. Bunch of the side coolers and whatnot. That's the stand there and the neck of the ship. And there you have this. And the big intercooler that's on the secondary hull. And the detail on this is really nice. You get all the little grid lines and things like that in there. The photon torpedo launcher. And this goes underneath and a bunch of other parts. And this is a, a special treat in here. This is a sticker from the 25th anniversary of Star Trek in 1991, which you can peel off and stick anywhere on your model or wherever. And a uh, thing to subscribe to the Blue Printer as well as join the official Star Trek club. So again, pretty straightforward, but a lot of nicely detailed parts. And we hope you enjoyed that episode of What's in the Box, where we looked at the classic Star Trek Klingon battle cruiser from 1991. And if you would like a more updated version of this, look out for this kit from Round 2, which has a classic box art styling. Now, if you would like to see us unbox the 1983 edition of the USS Enterprise, please click here. If you'd like to see the 1989 version, click down here. And if you would like to see the Romulan Bird of Prey, click up here. Don't forget to subscribe to us right here and visit us on the internet, www.monster-hobbies.ca. And we'll see you again.